Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about something being on the rise here in the United States. We will uh, talk about what it is. We'll talk about the good, the bad. We'll talk about what you can expect if you end up with it. And just go over some basic information here. Because with everything going on, people might have missed it. But a notice went out that said that right now there are three times as many cases of dengue as there were at the same time last year. Now, the good news is that if you're talking about actually in the states, um, a relatively small number of those are locally acquired. Now, this is something that DOD predicted when they did their study on the effects of climate change. This is completely anticipated. It will go further and further north as, as the range of the insects increases. So, what, uh, what can you expect with dengue? Well, I mean, the other name for it is bone break fever. So, aches, a lot of them. The way this works is if you get infected four to ten days later, if you're going to show symptoms, you start. 75% uh, of people do not show symptoms. For those 25% that do, nausea, rash, aches, pains, um, throwing up, the pain behind the eye is one of the things that is uh, identifiable as opposed to other aches. Um, and that's what, you know, 25% of people will get. Those symptoms will last two to seven days. Now, 5% of people will get something called severe dengue. What are you looking for there? Tenderness in the abdomen and, and blood in what you threw up, in your nose, gums, wherever. If you see any of that, you go to the doc. Even if you've already been to the doctor, if that starts, you go back to the doc. Um, that is an indication that you are part of that 5% and you're going to need assistance. So... This is something that we're going to have to become accustomed to. The numbers are going to keep going up, and the area it is happening in will continue to spread. So mitigation efforts. You know, don't leave uh, buckets to where they'll collect rainwater for mosquitoes to uh, make more mosquitoes in. If you can, stay in screened-in areas as much as possible. For people who are sleeping rough, if you're along the Gulf Coast right now, you probably want to start using a mosquito net. Uh, for those people who prepare aid kits, packages, for those people who don't have a house, you probably want to start put it, putting uh, mosquito netting in them. It's going to become important and more important as the years go on. So that's a little bit of familiarization with it. The uh, It doesn't look, at this point, it doesn't look like it's going to get horrible this year, but it is, again, it's that steady increase, and it's, it's going to continue. So anyway... It's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.